Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing from Craftably. And this is a kit that I got a little while back uh, during one of their sales, but I just haven't had the chance to open it yet. It's called Furry Familiar and is by the artist Kara Ann Aldridge. If the art style looks a little bit familiar to you, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, um, I did actually complete a kit from this artist, uh, from Craftably, earlier in the summer. So I really fell in love with the art style. This particular piece I was completely sold on and enabled by my friend Jamie, who's Jamie Paints over on Instagram, because I was actually, I was visiting her in person and I saw this kit in person and was completely blown away at how incredible it looked. And so I picked it up <laughs> not that long afterward. But with uh, Drills and Chills coming up, which is an event that I co-host and is centered around all things fall and Halloween, I thought this might be a really nice option for a kit to work on. I'm still feeling a little bit indecisive about it. So I thought, let me unbox this one. And let me do it with you guys because I adore Craftably and think that they have just amazing quality kits. Uh, let me do this unboxing with you guys. And then maybe once I see the canvas and the colors and everything, Maybe that'll help me decide if I should work on it. I did just check before I started filming, and as of the time of this filming, it looks like this kit is sold out, but maybe we'll hopefully be back. Um, but please, 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 don't let that stop you from taking a look at Craftably's website and what they have to offer, because I am consistently really, really impressed and happy with the quality of their kits as well as their customer service. They are a top-notch small shop, and I would really, really love for you to go and check them out and show them some love. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this kit. So the box itself does have some branding that's specific to Craftably, including there's some info on the back about what is diamond painting, um, some of the features of your kit. Here's Amy. One of the, I think it's she and her husband own, own the company and are so sweet. Um, this is the toolkit that's gonna be included, and well, it's an example anyway, and the other inclusions in this kit they are located in Texas and a family-owned business so um, let's go ahead and open this up um, so hi by the way how are you doing today I hope that you're having a really wonderful day so far um, if you're curious to find out more about drills and chills if you heard me mention that and are going what is that <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I'll link to the announcement video for the event uh, so that you can you can find out more about it and see if it's something you want to maybe consider joining in on. It runs through September and October, and uh, you just have to work on a kit that's Halloween or, or um, fall themed. We have lots of fun giveaways planned, and um, I think it's gonna be fun. It's the fifth year that it's happening, actually. The third year that I'm hosting um or co-hosting so anyway okay so that's our canvas and everything it's, it's lightly taped let me show you the toolkit uh the bag itself is this nice kind of like burlap bag and they are pretty darn generous with their toolkits let me show you so there will be a bag in here that has some of your basic tools a bag and a bag if i can open it yeah that was really stuck okay and everything's purple because Craftably is just all about the color purple with their with their branding. It's so cute. So let's pull everything out here. Okay, so first you're gonna get a pen and a couple of multi-placers, actually three multi-placers in total. There's a squishy as well. You can pop on the pen to make it more comfortable to hold. Uh, we're gonna get some a couple of different wax options. So they have the purple wax and then they do have some of this pink wax um, you know, try both, see what works for you, but there's a couple of different wax options. We have some purple tweezers. They're a bit pointy, but not terrible. I love the lavender tweezers. And then we've got uh, a sparkly purple tray, which I love. <laughs> and then this is a cover minder, you guys. There's a magnet on the back, and you can use this to hold back the, hold back the plastic cover of a section that you're working in. 
And then we have two rolls of washi tape. Now the print on the washi tape and the style on the cover minder is going to vary. If you want to know how you can use washi tape with a diamond painting, I've got a video for it. I'll link to it in the, in the description box below. Feel free to go and take a look. I like to use it around the border of my canvas because sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. And uh, just putting some washi tape around there can really prevent it from getting dirt or dust in there. And then also, uh, I use washi tape to section off my canvas. That's purely a personal preference type thing. Uh, but if you want to see that demoed, go check out the video. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this is going to be the bottom. <gasps> Here we go. All right, let me flip this, actually. This is a good size canvas. There she is. Furry familiar. Here's our furry familiar. So cute. All right, so we do have, oop, that's going to roll right back up. We have a bag of diamonds. We'll look at those these more closely in just a little bit. And then we've also got some other inclusions that I'll show you after I fix this. So this is really common where you'll see canvases that want to roll back in on themselves after you try to unroll them. Um, if a canvas has poured glue like this one does, you can usually tell if there's a clear plastic cover that it's a poured glue and not a double-sided adhesive tape. Uh, you can just roll it backwards the opposite direction. That's really gonna help it lay flat. Additionally, I'm feeling where it looks, it, it seems like maybe the plastic cover shifted a bit as well. And so what you can also do is uh, peel back the plastic cover That'll also get rid of just any, like aesthetically, any what look like wrinkles in the canvas, but it's just where the cover cover shifted when it was wrapped around the diamonds and the tools. So I go about halfway each direction. And that usually does the trick to really help it lay flat. <laughs> so, sorry for the noise. There we go, much better, much better. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Also, we love the diversity. I love this artist's work so, 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 so much. Um, I'll tell you more about my thoughts on that in just a minute and the, and the kit I've done before. But let me show you what else was included. So we have this little pamphlet here from Craftably. A little welcome to the Craftably family, their customer service number and email, how to diamond paint, some instructions written out and some little pics at the top, accessory ideas that they sell, and some features of the canvas. So, and a guarantee. So feel free to contact them. If you have any issues or concerns whatsoever, their customer service, like I said, is basically second to none. It's amazing customer service. Uh, so here, this is actually a really large sticker sheet. Uh, we have some random stickers over here, which are fun, <laughs> and including a sticker of the original artwork. And I'm gonna use this in my paper logbook once I start working on the kit. There's a spot to write your start and end date, the size, the thumbnail. Um, we have the size in inches, which I don't really speak inches when it comes to diamond paintings. My brain is fully in centimeters, but I'll tell you what the size is in centimeters once we're, we're actually looking at the canvas. But this is a set of pre-cut stickers, you guys. You see the, the little cuts there. Um, this makes kitting up go really easily and quickly because you can just peel these off and put them on the storage containers or Ziploc bags you use. We have 53 colors in total in this kit. The DMC code that you see in the right column of each of these is from the DMC brand of floss and like stitching. And most diamond painting companies do use this color code system. Uh, Craftably has tons of special diamonds in so many of their kits. It's actually one of the things I love. They're all charted for you. You don't have to do any of the work yourself, which is a huge bonus for me um, and how I like to diamond paint. So it looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six ABs in this kit and four crystal colors. So 10 different special colors of the of the 53 colors. Uh, that's gonna be amazing. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the canvas now. I'll take you on a little tour. So up at the top, we do have their branding of Craftably. There we go. And then we have some finishing and some pokes and some scalloped edges here. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying whatsoever with your canvas. The backing is this short lint or soft lint material, uh, but it's a thicker one than a lot of companies I see have. And I really like it. It holds diamonds really well and it lays flat. It's nice to work on. Like I mentioned, their canvases do have poured glue, which like I said, you can usually t tell with a plastic cover, has a clear plastic cover like this. It's very sticky. I have not had any issues with the stickiness on my Craftably canvases. The, the plastic cover itself is a, it's thick too. It's not terribly thin, which, you know, I like, a, I like that it's sturdy. We do have a color list 
here at the top left with all 53 colors. If you take a look, we have the same color list here on the bottom right. And we also do have um, a thumbnail of the original artwork, the schematic and the size. At the bottom of the canvas down here, you'll find the title and then um, the artist's name, Kara Ann Aldridge, and then the little copyright symbol, which of course I'm always gonna point out. So what this means is that this piece is legally licensed like all of Craftably's other kits. They have been licensed from the artist, which means the artist, in this case, Kara Ann Aldridge, has both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. That is really incredibly important to me that all the licensing is above board with companies um, that I work on kits from. And so I'm always gonna shout out companies that are doing right by artists. Down here, you've got, there's their socials and suggestions for how to share and then info on their guarantee, so. Looking at the canvas itself and the symbols, you guys craftably hand charts all of their canvases and they do a really beautiful job of it. What that means is that instead of this image just being dumped into a computer program and then whatever being spit back out and here's your rendering, instead this really has a strong human touch to it. Someone that's going over it and going, okay, this is, these are the exact colors we wanna use and how we wanna place them and do the shading. Um, and it feels a lot cleaner and you can especially tell because you'll, you will see some nice sections of color blocking like this one. So color blocking is when you have a lot of the same color like this and, and chunks of it in a, in a smaller area. You'll be able to use your multi-placer. You'll have that color in your tray for longer and those tend to go a bit faster. Uh, her fishnets here have some kind of linear color blocking and smaller amounts of color blocking, which is really nice. By contrast, um, confetti, I'll find a good section that has confetti to show you. Um, confetti is where you have lots of color changes in a small area, maybe some in her hair, maybe kind of in here, but it's not that bad. Uh, that's confetti and maybe like her eyes and her mouth. So you might be doing a little bit more single placing and changing out the color in your tray more often. The payoff though is that you usually get more detail when you've got more confetti like that. So I like a nice mix of both my paintings because confetti does keep it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. And we have some color blocking up here in the skies for sure. And then our furry familiar friend. So, 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 so cute. So cute. And I am spoiled you guys because I already know, I already know how this looks complete and I already know that it looks so, 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 so good. Uh, so I, I am really excited to get into this in particular because I know that it's gonna be a beautiful finish. So I hope Craftably will restock it. I don't know if they're planning to or not, but hopefully. So we are at 28 inches. That's how they list it is just with inches and not centimeters. But if you're curious, that is not totally flat, uh, about 72 centimeters. I cannot do inches to centimeters conversion in my head. If you can, more power to you, but I, it's not me. <laughs> uh, I can't. And then we're at 22, cent, 22 inches basically on the nose this way. And in um, centimeters, that translates to about 56 to 57 centimeters. So we're a bit over 70 and a bit over 50 as far as size goes in centimeters but it is measuring true to size so uh let's take a look at these diamonds and don't worry after we look at the diamonds we're going to go through and i'm going to point out the places that the various 10 special drill colors have been charted in this piece now our pack of diamonds does have a sticker on it that tells us which kit this goes with so if you store these separate from the canvas outside the box they came in they should be easy enough to match up later and it looks like it does look like these came in resealable bags. And let's start down at this end. So right off the bat, you guys, we do have a couple of bags of 310. So the 01 you see here is the legend number. It's this number over here. And then 310 is the DMC. So that's gonna be on each of our bags. We have two bags. So sometimes you will have multiple bags of the 310, and 310 is black, and just can be a little bit more of a trash prone diamond color, but these look good. I've worked with Craftably's round drills before. Uh, the past, the most recent kit that I worked on that was by this artist and from Craftably had round diamonds, and I had no complaints. They were great to work with. We have some grays and, ooh, some purples, nice. 
I don't think these are in, oh, maybe they are. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, are these not in DMC order? <laughs> are they just sort of in color order? Um, as in like, you know, rainbow color order, but no, that was just a coincidence there. We do have some olives and more grays, and there's that pretty 550 royal purple. That one looks like it has maybe a little bit, a little bit of trash in there. Um, but as long as maybe that's just the marks on the bag. Okay, I'm not worried about it though, you guys. If I, in large part, because I know that if I have any trouble, I'll just contact Craftably. And they're very, very quick to try to make things right. Whether or not you have a platform like I do, or you are you know, just normal everyday customer, which I try to be, I really try to be. Lots of shades of blue and some more browns. And you guys notice that these come in resealable bags. So if you would prefer to work out of bags like this, which a lot of people do, you have that option. It's, it's nice when you have that option. I'm one that I really prefer to work out of storage containers because I'm a bit klutzy for bags. Um, I just tend to spill. <laughs> They're a little more spill prone for me. Uh, so I'll pour these into uh, storage containers and use the sticker labels that came with these. Um, if you happen to run into any static, which I'm not seeing a ton of static at first glance in these, it's highly climate dependent. Um, if you run into static with resealable baggies or you know, any, however your diamonds come, uh, I like to use a square of dryer sheet. Ooh, a big bag of 3371, that's a dark brown. I like to just cut up and use uh, some squares of dryer sheet to get rid of static and that usually does the trick. We're getting here to the end. I'd love to show you these special diamonds, these 10 colors of special diamonds. Okay, let's see if that's all of them. Uh, so we should have, was it six ABs? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. All right, let me shift these out of the way. So ABs, you guys, what are ABs? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights. And if you take a look, Actually, this one is probably the best example. If you take a look, there is an extra super sparkly iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds that sparkles even more than regular diamonds do and has just a really bold and striking effect. They catch your eye, they highlight the areas they've been charted and they're just, they're really pretty. So uh, this is an 820 AB, a nice pretty blue. This is 963, the tiniest handful of this really subtle pale pink AB. And then we've got uh, this lime green AB, 907, also subtle. And then we have this tangerine orange AB, which is 742, just again, a really small handful of that one. Uh, we have this white AB with a little straggler. And there's a big bag of this. So these are gonna be, I bet, I bet the stars and the white on the fishnets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that. And then we have this yellow AB, AB07. So there are ABs, and then we also have some crystals. We have four crystal colors in this kit, uh, and they denote the crystals by putting LZ at the beginning. So we have this cherry red one, it says 304, 208, this is kind of a royal purple, nice jewel tones. And then we have this one, which is, you know, really similar shade of purple to this one, but has just a little bit darker, a tiny hint of red to it, 552. And then this one is more of a pinkish crystal, 915. Magenta, I suppose. Love those jewel tones, those are gorgeous. Okay, now we have a lot of different symbols and colors to look for but I'm gonna do my darndest to help us find where these different ABs are gonna go. So uh, let's see, we had all those crystal colors and right off the bat, let me see, what's this, this symbol right here? Is that one of them? It is not, okay. <laughs> so the, the white you see sprinkled through here though is our white AB. Um, so we're a little bit of glare, my bad, my bad. Okay, so the white sprinkled in here and then the white highlights, the lines of white that you see on her fishnets are all white ABs. Uh, we have a little bit of highlighting actually on the cobblestones down here in white AB colors. Um, in her skirt, I'll just try to find all the white ABs maybe and then we'll go back and look for the others. In her skirt, these chains have white ABs in them. And the highlighting you see in white is white ABs. The stars on her sleeves, which her sleeves are sh kind of sheer and have these stars on them, those all are full of white ABs all throughout, as are the white stars through her hair and these little white sprinkles through her hair as well and down here. The white highlighting here on her top is white ABs. 
popping back over here okay in her really combat boots which i love uh, we have white ab's and the laces and these lines down here are all white ab's i have a black cat <laughs> that's what that that fur is from we call it cat glitter um there's some white highlighting with white ABs along here. And again, in the fishnets, the white you see is a white AB. The white stars over here are white ABs. And then along our furry familiar, we have some white ABs that are doing this highlighting. And the star here is all white ABs. The line of white you see here and up here is white AB. And then white AB along the cat's fur here and here, a little bit in the cat's eyes and on top of the cat's head and ears more stars with white ABs and then a little bit on the side of our witch's face we have some white ABs you saw we have that giant bag of white ABs right <laughs> along her hat this white line is all white ABs as is this one over here and then more white ABs through here along here and then coming down here to the star that's hanging off of her hat and a little bit on the tops of the clouds so that white AB is just the perfect highlighter in this kit. Now let's find some of those other special drill colors now that we have that particular one out of the way. Uh, so our yellow, let's see, we've got our yellow ABs and our orange ABs. Um, we have some ABs here in this moon on here and then this yellow here and here. And then along with that, the yellow in her skirt, this is the yellow AB little bits here and here we only have the tiniest handful of that orange AB what was that color I want to make sure I don't miss it okay so yellow ABs in here a little bit of yellow AB here and here and then looking closely uh, the yellow AB on the cat's brow which again is glare my bad this plastic really grabs some of that glare uh, some yellow ABs right there and then I found them. Okay, the orange ABs, you guys, are one of the colors in this band on her hat is the orange AB. And we have the yellow AB throughout as well. Okay, so there's the yellow and orange ABs. And then we've got, let's see, um, we've got our blue and pink and green ABs left. Uh, our blue symbol, okay, is that one, that little bow tie looking one? All right, so I see blue ABs. It's this darkest bluish purple color throughout here is a blue AB as is over here it's a it's the blue the primarily primarily a blue color that you're seeing is the blue AB hopping over here do we have any okay up here in her hair ooh, in her hair we have some of the blue AB it's that dark blue color you see up here dark blue in her hair dark blue here and here and same thing yeah the darkest blue and here and up here is a blue AB and then we've got our pale pink and our pale or our lime green lime green okay i am guessing those are both going to be up towards the top a bit where is that pale pink ab that we just had a tiny bit of i don't want to miss it uh the lime green ab though i did see there's a tiny half dozen of them over here randomly <laughs> and then as we come up here where is that pink AB? I can't find it. I can't find it and I'm determined to. But the lime green AB is actually in this, one of these green colors in the clouds. The darker green is the green AB. It's through here. It's over here and up in here as well. That's gonna be a challenge. Where is that pink AB? Hmm. Shout if you see it. <laughs> I might have to turn this off and look up real closely so I'm not wasting your time. But for the moment, maybe it'll jump out at me while we're looking for our crystal colors. Because that that is those are our AB colors, aside from that elusive pink one. Our crystal colors. We have tons of those. And it looks like uh, we're going to have... Um, let's see. The one that has a more magenta hue to it, I think, is going to be in here wait which one's our red one okay good okay the pinkish magenta one i see through here and then um our darker purple one is some of these purple shades in here as is the slightly lighter purple so those are just doing a little bit of of, of sparkle through here make sure we don't have any in here that i'm missing 
And then if we hop over here, we have all three of our crystal colors. Again, the two shades of purple and the one that's a little bit more maroon is right here. It looks kind of hot pink in camera probably. And then either shade of purple, it's just gonna add a little bit of dimension to her hair is really what it looks like that the purpose of that particular one is. Um, and then the really red one, the kind of cherry red crystal, I just see in her lips, actually. And then up here we have uh, all three of the other crystal colors in here and here. I did, you guys, I found the pale pink AB. It's in our familiar's ears. <laughs> it's just right here and right here. And I think that that's actually it. But that's adorable that there are pink, those really pale pink ABs are just the center of our familiar's ears. That's adorable. All right, you guys. So this one really is just full of crystals and ABs. And I think is gonna look gorgeous, especially if my, my most recent finish from Craftably, which is also from this artist, and it really kind of a similar style like definitely a similar art style different color scheme and vibe but uh still amazing um it was called rainbow dreams i believe and i'll link to the post review i did on that kit if you want to go and take a look and just be convinced that everything by this artist is gonna look amazing especially with craftably's rendering style i just i feel really excited and really good about how this is gonna turn out and i i gotta be honest i am definitely feeling really 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 tempted to work on this one for drills and chills this year so um you guys this is the absolutely stunning furry familiar by Kara Ann Aldridge from Craftably and is uh, has round drills and is just full of special drill colors, 10 different special drill colors. And I think it's going to be really, actually, I don't think I know because I've seen it, is going to be incredibly beautiful and perfectly rendered uh, once it's once it's done, once it's done, we got some drills, once we get some drills on this canvas. So I'll link to the listing for this one in case you're you know watching it in the future and it does get restocked or you can go and check uh, to see if it'll be back in stock. But otherwise, please do, do go do go and take a look at what Craftably has to offer because they have a beautiful selection, a really nice variety too of diamond painting kits. And I feel like the quality is so top notch. It's absolutely there and it's well worth uh, considering getting one of their kits. So let me know what you think. Is this one that you have in your stash or that you've completed? Or do you have anything else from Craftably or by this artist in, in your stash? Um, or have you worked on one? I'd, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear about it. So you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and it, and it it gave you another shop to take a look at if you haven't checked out Craftably already. I'm going to let you go, but please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with lots more diamond painting content from me and have a day that's as amazing as you are. All right, my friends. Bye.